Hey everyone, we got some massive news for NEO stock investors here in this video, so I'll share with you what those latest developments are. I will also update my buy recommendation for NEO stock coming into this video. I did not have NEO stock rated as a buy. I did not have it rated as a buy. So you're going to want to tune in to see if these latest developments have me upgrading neo stock in this video today so let's jump right into this latest news i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now all right so neo reported on april 1st that it delivered 11,866 vehicles in march 2024 which increased 14.3 percent year over year now, for the first quarter that ended in March, the first three months ended in March 2024, NEO delivered 30,053 vehicles in those three months. And interestingly, you see, for the March figures, NEO tells you what the year-over-year -year growth was, 14.3%. But for the three months ended in March, NEO does not tell you what the year-over-year -year growth was. Now, I'll let you guess what that means do you think that means that its first quarter year over year growth was good or was not so exciting and as you probably guessed it means it was not so exciting and i'll share with you what those year over year growth numbers were because neo chose not to share those numbers with you it handpicked it chose to share with you the data that makes it look more appealing and chose not to share with you the data that does not look appealing that's what I dislike from management teams when they cherry pick data to try and make themselves appear more appealing to investors. And that's one of the things I dislike. That's one of my pet peeves when I'm evaluating companies. Regardless, solid growth here from NEO in the month of March. And we already had the data from January and February. So the month of March increasing 14.3% was solid to be sure. Now, the deliveries consisted of 6,737 premium smart electric SUVs and 5,129 smart electric sedans, more SUVs than sedans. And that's becoming a worldwide thing here where SUVs are more highly in demand than sedans. Now, beginning in March of 2024, NEO started deliveries of its 2024 ES8, ES6, EC7, EC6, and ET5T, the 2024 models feature enhanced configuration performance highlighted by the computing cluster, which boosts its computing power and product competitiveness. Furthermore, the company plans to start delivering more 2024 models in the second quarter of 2024. Hopefully, these newer models will boost growth for NEO, which is growing pedestrian numbers here year over year as the ev industry struggles to maintain the growth it achieved in recent years now one of the things that differentiates neo is the battery technology the battery swapping technology battery as a service as well as neo assisted and intelligent driving and its subscription services although the assisted and intelligent driving and the subscription services are pretty much common among most electric vehicle companies or i shouldn't say most but many electric vehicles companies the thing that really differentiates neo in my opinion is the battery as a service the battery swapping technology that is an expensive gambit, but it could prove to be effective given that the number one thing that causes people to hesitate from buying electric vehicles is the inconvenience from charging. It takes so long to charge your electric vehicle compared to filling up gas in your legacy vehicle, in your internal combustion engine vehicle. And that switch is a big hesitation point for many consumers that don't want to wait around for all that time for their vehicles to charge. And you might say, well, you can do home charging, but not everyone owns a house or lives in an area that has home charging. So their only choice is to charge somewhere else and have to wait around for their vehicle to charge. And given that many people are in a hurry, they don't want to sit around waiting for a vehicle to charge, especially when they have an option 
to buy an internal combustion engine where you can fill up your full tank in less than five minutes. So this battery swapping technology is proving to be popular with consumers, although not incredibly so, as you can see by the growth numbers, which are not incredible for NEO, especially when we look at the quarter over quarter or or year over year numbers for the first quarter, it wasn't all that exciting. Now, the growth numbers for 30,053 vehicles in the three months ended March came in line with what management had said, although management did downgrade the numbers of recent uh, in recent weeks on March 27th, to be precise. They downgraded their outlook, telling investors to expect them to deliver approximately 30,000 vehicles in the first quarter of 2024. That was down from their outlook of a midpoint of 32,000 vehicles for the first quarter. So they were initially expecting 32,000 vehicles for the quarter, and they downgraded that to 30,000. And that was a big disappointment given that they already had January and February numbers. They already had the numbers for January and February. So March, the month of March, turned out to be much worse than expected for NEO, and it caused them to revise this outlook downward, and then they hit the downwardly revised number today when they updated those results. Now, vehicle deliveries were 50,045 in the fourth quarter of 2023. So quarter over quarter, it's a big decrease, right? Going from 50,000 down to 30,000 vehicles delivered in the quarter. Of course, their fourth quarter is a more highly demanded quarter given the holiday season and given the first quarter is tepid in demand and consumers were likely waiting for these newer models to come out as is usually the case right when you know a newer model is coming out you wait to buy that newer model you don't go in and buy the older model when you know the newer model is coming out in a month or two so that could have also contributed to the lower deliveries for the month and for the quarter. So one of the big numbers I'm going to look forward to see when the company reports full first quarter results. This was just delivery numbers. I want to see their full fourth quarter results, which will include the vehicle margin. In the fourth quarter, their vehicle margin was a solid 11.9% in the fourth quarter of 2023 compared to 6.8% in the fourth quarter of 2022 and 11% in the third quarter. They had made big progress in expanding their vehicle margin. I wonder, I'm curious if that vehicle margin remained up here near double digits or if it decreased because of the decrease in the number of units delivered for the first quarter. I mentioned already that we had the numbers for January and February. Management had told us that NEO delivered 10,055 vehicles in January and 8,132 vehicles in February. So they knew these January and February numbers, and they told us they were expecting 32,000 at the midpoint for March. So if we add these two here, it gives us about 18,200 vehicles delivered for January and February. So management was expecting roughly 14,000 vehicles delivered in March, but they ended up delivering only 11,866 vehicles in March. So that was an increase of 14.3% year over year, but it was a much lower increase than management was expecting just as little as one month ago. So while this is good news that the company did increase deliveries in March, take it with a grain of salt because management was expecting this improvement to be much larger. The good news again is that they're introducing newer models, several newer models, which is likely to spur demand as customers were likely waiting for these newer models to come out before they went out and purchased NEO cars. Now, the stock price was up today's in today's trading, but if you look back longer term over the last five days, you could see the big drop here on March 27 when the company initially downgraded its numbers expected for the first quarter. The stock price dipped from a little under $5 per share, let's say $4.90 per share, down to about $4.50 per share, about a 10% decrease. But the stock is bouncing back today up to $4.66. It's still down from the $4.90 it was trading at around March 27. Now, if you look at valuation, NEO is still trading at near its cheapest valuation it's been in the last three years. 
at a forward price to sales of 0 0.710, which is similar to valuations of rivals like Lee Auto and Xpeng. It's not significantly different from those two companies. So as I look at these newer numbers, I had Neo stock rated as a hold, and I'm keeping Neo stock rated as a hold, or in other words, I think it's gonna perform just about in line with the market. So I'm gonna say it's a market perform, and I'm updating this number as of April 1st, 2024. So there you have it. That's the massive news for Neo. The delivery numbers came in as expected, the downwardly revised expectations, and it came in, it hit those expectations, and Neo saying that it's coming out with several newer models and it released several newer models. So the second quarter looks to be much, much better than the first quarter, and investors are looking for that upside in Q2. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.